Surrey remained in the hunt for Division 1 survival whilst Somerset were pushed to the brink of relegation following defeat at the Oval. Surrey extended their first innings lead to 1-6-4 on day three at the Oval, Sangakara finishing on 1-5-7. Somerset, in reply, reduced that margin by 113 runs before stumps and still trailed by 51 runs as the final day got underway. Abel and Davis made good progress, but Surrey were eager for the breakthrough and it wasn't long before Clark had his first wicket of the day, Abel gone for 18. Somerset needed a strong partnership, a new batsman Trago supported Davis well as they took Somerset into the lead. Davis eventually brought up his half century but failed to push on as he edged behind to Clark off Batty, ending that 66 run partnership with Trago. In came Overton, who played aggressively from the outset, batting through to lunch with Trago to score 220 for 6 during the break. Somerset led by 56 runs going into the afternoon session and Trago pushed on after bringing up his half century. Surrey persisted though and Mika produced a quick Yorker to remove Overton for 10. An over later he was joined back in the pavilion by Trago dismissed for 68 by Patel. Somerset only led by 78 runs with two new batsmen at the crease but Bess and Leach dug in and fought hard as they took Somerset's lead beyond 100. The pair put on a vital 48 runs together before Batty finally got the breakthrough, Clark taking the catch. Three overs later, Bess edged behind for 35 to give Clark his second wicket and Somerset were all out for 306. Tea was taken and Surrey needed 143 runs to win going into the final session with 39 overs remaining. The hosts played positively from the outset and Stoneman got off to a particularly good start. However, Somerset suddenly put the pressure on, dismissing both openers in quick succession. Burns dismissed by Overton for 13, before Gronewald found the outside edge of Stoneman, gone for 24. It was nervous times for young Patel, who survived some big LBW appeals. He fought hard with Sangakara. The Somerset attack were persistent, and Bess was rewarded with the breakthrough Patel out for 17. In came Folks, and with 17 overs to go, Surrey needed 51 more runs to win. Somerset bowled well, but Sangakara was solid as ever, and Folks raced the score along. As Folks hit Bess into the stands, the host needed just 26 more runs to win. The Surrey pair took their partnership past 50, but Sangakara was unable to see his team home, and his final innings at the Oval was brought to an end by Bess, the Sri Lankan legend out for 35, receiving an almighty reception and a guard of honour from Somerset. Surrey needed just 15 runs to win when Folks was joined by Pope, and it was the new man at the crease who decided to take matters into his own hands and put Surrey across the finish line with two lusty blows off the bowling of Bess. Surrey victorious by six wickets and giving themselves some breathing space ahead of the final game of their season against Lancashire. Somerset host Middlesex in a game that they have to win to stand any chance of avoiding relegation. <laughs>